Just woke up. This is 1.39 p.m. I know, I'm not gonna lie, we kind of went a little bit crazy this weekend. Kind of over the top. Let's just say we had so much fun that I we had to like take two days off to just do nothing because it was it was exhausting. Oh, and my Tamagotchi is doing fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. He turned into Mimichi. I really want to do my teeth. I don't know. This is something that I've really thought about this past week and this weekend. I was just like, why not just go for it? I feel like a lot of changes that I wanted to do as a teenager, I didn't end up doing just because I know that it was going to be a long process. Like doing your teeth is not something that can be fixed in a week. It's something that can take months to fix, right? And now that I'm like an adult, I have the means to be patient. I have the patience to see things change gradually and be okay with that. I think when we were teenagers, right, you wanted, you want things to kind of happen quickly. You want things to happen tomorrow. As an adult, you kind of realize that that shit doesn't matter. Anyway, I guess that's just something that I've been telling myself these days, right? Yeah, so this week I want to find a dentist that can do my teeth. And specifically what I want to do, probably get Invisalign. Something else that's super random that I realized is that my like front teeth, my whole row of front teeth is like short. My fangs are way longer than the rest of my front teeth. And I learned that this, there's this thing called um, composite edging, is that what it's called? They fix your teeth without damaging your real teeth. So they put like mold or something and they make your teeth nice and straight. I don't know, kind of want the bigger teeth vibe. And of course, when I brought this up to Max, his first thought was like, um, what, what's blowjob gonna be like? Will that, will that like change? And I told him that I, I care about my teeth than, than giving you good blowjobs. Another thing that I started doing was that I started going to laser hair removal at this spa nearby. It's super close, but I still need Max to drive me there because I don't know how to drive. I've had one session. I've done it on my face, by the way, on like my beard area. I've done my whole mustache area like four years ago. So worth it. So this is going to be a dream come true. Like once this is over, I think it's going to be all done by the summer. I'm going to have baby smooth skin and hopefully better teeth and better fitted clothing. Another thing that this weekend made me realize is that my life these past couple of months has been like this. You know, it's been it's been like a stagnant ride. I told myself that it feels like there's something missing in my life. Like it's not normal that my life is like this. But what I realized is that there really isn't anything wrong with that. Like why why is that so wrong to have your life just go smoothly? And then I realized that I think these last couple of years before I arrived to Montreal, like my life has been s such a roller coaster. Like it's gone up and down, and I think I've gone through a lot of emotional trauma that everything going normally and going well has did not feel right i've been telling myself that i need to really embrace that and really be okay with that i feel like a part of me have found my peace in the world which is a strange thing to say because i'm nowhere near where i want to be in life right that thought in itself has made me so happy <laughs> I love what I found here on my journey on YouTube. I don't desire or need a large audience and making content just on this new channel on Days by Max and Yas has been so much less pressure, has been so much more fun. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching us and being here week after week. I really love and appreciate the small family and community that I've built here. I really thought that for the longest time that I would not be able to survive on YouTube without the biggest audience, without millions of views, but that's not true at all. Um, sorry for being a sad boy, but it's it's really not not sad sad. I'm, I'm more more happy sad because of these realizations, I guess. When you're tired, you just get really emotional, and um, that's where I'm at today. Bye, Brudus. Bye, Max. If you guys are Downton Abbey fans like I am, have you guys been following The Gilded Age on HBO? It's so good. Max was asking me the other day why I love period drama so much. And it's because the way they solve their problems, their issues, the way they gossip is so finessed. They do it in the most classy, quiet,
quiet and deceitful way, which is way more interesting to watch than people yelling and screaming and fighting. I watch every episode like twice in a day. How was the movie, y'all? It was uh, full of excitement. <laughs> Tom Holland was younger. Right? He's cool. He's, he's just uh, how old is he? I think he's he's 27, 26, 27. Okay, okay. Because so he starts to look a little older than the Spider-Man. He does. Yeah. <laughs> That's a man's beer. It's cold. <laughs> So recently, right, I haven't been able to stop thinking about solo traveling. It's something that I've always wanted to do since way before I got married, but never had the means to do it. And it's weird now because technically if I wanted to, I could. But the idea of solo traveling when you're married, is that like weird? I brought it up to Max once and he told me that it's like a weird thing to do when you're married. Which I honestly think is not true. Because when you're getting married, right, you're supposed to be empowering each other. You're supposed to build each other up. There's so many advantages of being married. Why do you have to give up this little piece of freedom of being able to solo travel? I've been going a little bit crazy with shoe shopping recently. This is the first pair that I got. I got this pair of New Balance 530s. They just look so cool. I've been into these like, I don't know what to call this style, like dad shoes, track runner, something sporty vibe shoes. But these are kind of cool. And then my little shopping excursion didn't just stop there. Oh no, no, no. I also custom ordered these Nike Air Force Ones. I love Air Force Ones because of how tall it makes me. That extra bit of oomph just makes me feel like Bella Hadid and I'm here for it. Why didn't anyone tell me that you were able to do this? Like for months I've been stalking random sneaker websites trying to get my hands on these Jordan 1s in this colorway and they're always so freaking expensive. I thought I was willing to just like, you know what, I'll just spend the money and get it. Until I found out that you can actually custom design Air Force Ones, which is a model that I like better than the Jordan Ones, in whatever color you want on the Nike website, and you just have to pay retail. The only downside is that you have to wait like a couple months for it. No, I waited a month and a half for this, which isn't bad at all. I ordered this back in January. You can even like pick the leather. I actually accidentally picked the wrong leather for the swoosh. It's like a textured thing. On the Jordan 1s, this would cost like $700. This only cost me like $170. I also got these babies. I just wanted like a fun, colorful shoe that I could wear for the summer. This is gonna be like my summer rotation. Although I plan on getting one more pair of shoes. Hopefully today. I'm gonna get Crocs, okay? They're just so comfortable. Last summer actually, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get myself a pair of Crocs. And then I told a couple friends about it, like, should I get a pair of Crocs? And they're like, no, it's just a passing fad. You're gonna get over it. But it's been a year and I'm still thinking about it. So I think that's a sign for my subconscious that if I don't scratch that itch, it just will never go. So I, I just have to go for it, right? Crocodoodle do. Hopefully I'll find a color that's cute. I just want like a pastel vibe. This is my vibe from now on. I, I love, what should we call it? That's like creative. The second coming of Christ look, which is kind of on theme, given what's happening with the world right now. Imagine just like this outfit with a pair of like pale blue or green Crocs. Remember when he said he doesn't shop? Is this real proof of you shopping, bro? It's just the same stuff that I have at home. I don't actually need it. Okay, I won't get it. Came in here because I wanted to buy these t-shirts. They're so soft, but they don't have one in stock in small. Oh, is this cute? Is this vibes for summer? 
No, I'm just gonna end up wearing this at home. Look y'all, hospital vibes. What do you think? Is that cute for me? For you? Yeah. A bit big, no? Yeah, it is. I got a perfume. This one smells like my mom. This one's really pretty. Might go back for that. It's actually really pretty. Mm -hmm. Smells good. You could get both. Nah, getting two in one day is unhinged. Makes time. I want to solo travel. Bye. If I were to book a ticket like tomorrow, would you be mad? No, I have time to play video game. Fish and waffle fries or onion rings? Both. No. Let's try the onion rings. Yo, 10 bucks for this is actually quite kind of expensive now. As always, we're gonna air fry everything. How many fish do you want? Three. No, two. Okay. They're gonna be so yummy. Oh. I'm gonna give you like the big pieces because I'm so nice. Yay, and because you gave me one less. We need to stop eating so much brown stuff. True. If there was a contest for the most unappealing plate in the world, this would win. It's brown, but it tastes good. Yeah, it literally looks like it was made by like someone in elementary school. <clears throat> so, bon appetit. Oh, I know what I missed. One lemon. Mmm, so good. Okay, we're gonna finish up with our food. Thank mm. you guys for following us in our journey of self-love. Let's make more home cooked meal, but not brown stuff anymore. Because we already make a lot of brown stuff in the toilet. So, see you guys next week! Mm.